I'm sure you've had your pulse on what the Giants have been doing. You're still in New Jersey. You're still pretty close. And they've been very active in free agency this year. And I think that stood out to me is just how publicly involved some of the players were in the recruiting process. What, what are your initial reactions on what the Giants have been able to do? Yeah, I mean, I think it's been uh, – they've obviously been busy in, in the in the offseason and getting new players and, and – uh, where they feel they need uh, some help in some key uh, positions. So I think uh, it's been it's been great. I think it's uh, they're obviously committed uh, to turning this around. I think they they feel great about um, you know a lot of the positions where they where they are. And I think Joe, uh, Coach Judge has done a great job. And so I think the fact that they are a young team um, and they've you know drafted well, have all these guys that are are growing within this program and under his leadership. Uh, I think they're heading in the right direction. And, and you know, in the NFL, sometimes all, all it takes is a few players to really go from kind of that middle of the pack to a, uh, to a, you know, a playoff caliber team. And so, um, you know, I know Daniel, Daniel Jones will have that offense working and getting better and, um, and competing and doing everything possible uh, to get back to winning, winning more football games and, and being competitive and trying to win the NFC East. Yeah, you know, one of, the, one of the big names, obviously, that the Giants signed, Kenny Galladay, he's been compared a little bit to Plaxico Burris in terms of his size and the type of offensive weapon that he could be for Daniel Jones. Obviously, it's not, you know, a, an A to A comparison, but do you see that similarity at all? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's easy to see uh, that comparison, just the fact that uh, they're, they're both, uh, you know, tall, uh, rangy receivers, maybe not like the fastest person on the team, but when you're six, five and you're 225 pounds or whatever he might be, you don't have to be the fastest. You're, you're, you don't have to be open to be open. If, if that makes sense, quarterbacks can throw you open. They can put it in spots where only you can make a play on it. So, um, you know, a separation is not needed uh, necessarily to be a, an open receiver. And I think having, um, you know, having that type of receiver, um, you know, sometimes it's, you know, it, it just draws, you know, sometimes it draws double coverage. It gets a safety to help on that side and can open up other receivers, Sterling Shepard and Evan Ingram and those guys. So, uh, you know, let alone Saquon Barkley when he's back healthy. So I think they have, um, you know, have some players around that will, when you, when you sign a, a guy like Galladay, it will open up, uh, you know, obviously for him to make plays, but open up for some of these other guys to, have success as well. Now, looking at the young guy, uh, the quarterback position now, Daniel Jones, you guys had built a relationship in your final years with the franchise and his first years with the franchise. What have you seen in his growth on the field over the last couple of seasons? And, and what are your thoughts on what we can expect from Daniel this year? Well, I think, I think Daniel's done a great job of just working, you know, working extremely hard uh, to continue to, to learn the game of football, learn the X's and O's. I think it's hard when you have a quarterback um, you know, a second year, second offensive coordinator, you know, a lot of changes. And so I think, that, you know, the fact that he's, uh, you know, be going into the same offense for, you know, for now, you know, two years, consecutive years will help him, will help him grow, um, you know, as a, as a player, be more comfortable in the offense. So I know he works extremely hard. I know he's committed and dedicated uh, to doing whatever possible. I know it's important uh, you know, for him to have success and to be a leader and to get back to winning football games for the Giants. So I think having those qualities um, is, is, you know, kind of the start that you need uh, to eventually, um, you know, have success in the NFL. So I think he has those things. He, 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 of course, has the talent and the ability to make all the plays. It's just kind of combining all those together, plus getting the guys around him uh, that can help him. And I think that's what the Giants are doing. Yeah, well, and hey, it takes one to know one. I mean, you've had an incredible career, two-time Super Bowl MVP, spent your entire career with one franchise, the New York Giants. But you know, in New York, in that media market, and, and in general, people and fans love to debate the Hall of Fame, who should be in, who should be out. Are you surprised at all that fans have such a fierce debate over your career accomplishments and, you know, first ballot or, or not first ballot or what have you? Um, you know, I, I think everybody likes to have, have something to, to debate about and argue about and hey, who is better, this guy or that guy, should this guy get in or not get in. So, um, you know, what? It, it's if people want to talk about it, it does, it does not bother me. It's not something that's going to keep me keep me up at night. Um, I, obviously, um, 
you know, my brother went into the Hall of Fame uh, this year's elected. I know it's a great honor. So proud of him and 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 his uh, success. And I know it's one of those things um, that you know, as a football player, it's one of the greatest individual honors that you can receive uh, to be recognized to go in there. But um, it, it's not something you that I'll I'll um, you know I'm, I'm going to go out and, and campaign for. So I, I know I did my best uh, playing quarterback for the New York Giants. I love my time there. Uh, have you know, great friendships, great memories, uh, winning those two championships. And so, uh, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy with, uh, with, with what I was able to accomplish there.